Europe is not announcing this decision. There are no press conferences, there are no official statements, but behind the scenes something important is happening. European countries are slowly moving away from their traditional technology partners and quietly integrating Indian technology into their systems. This includes space missions, defense equipment, digital infrastructure, railways and even healthcare. This video is not about headlines. This video is about what Europe is doing silently. And once you understand this shift, you will never look at global power the same way again. Before you continue, think about this carefully. If Europe trusts Indian technology today, what does that say about the future of Western dominance? For decades, Europe was considered the heart of modern technology. German engineering, French innovation, British research, these were symbols of global excellence. European machines powered factories across the world. European systems controlled transportation, defense and communication networks. However, in recent years, Europe has started facing serious challenges. Energy costs have increased sharply. Manufacturing has become expensive, labor costs are among the highest in the world. At the same time, Europe is facing a demographic problem. A large portion of its skilled workforce is retiring, but there are not enough young engineers to replace them. Innovation has slowed down, projects take longer to complete, costs keep increasing. Europe still has knowledge, but it no longer has speed. And in today's world, speed matters more than pride. Here is a serious question. If Indian engineers can manage the world's largest railway system, why wouldn't Europe trust them with theirs? Comment prompt. Would you trust Indian railway software in Europe? European railways look modern on the surface, but many of their control systems are outdated. Indian engineers operate one of the largest railway networks in the world. They manage chaos, scale and unpredictability every single day. This experience is valuable. Indian software now supports signaling systems, traffic management tools and safety mechanisms in parts of Europe. India did not design systems for perfection. India designed systems for survival. And that is exactly what Europe needs now. If ISRO is reliable enough for European satellites, why do most people still underestimate Indian space technology? When Europe wants to launch a satellite, it has limited options. American launches are powerful but extremely expensive. Chinese launches come with political and security risks. India, on the other hand, offers something different. ISRO launches satellites at a fraction of the cost. It has a strong success rate. And most importantly, it delivers on time. European space agencies and private companies have quietly chosen Indian launch services because they are reliable, affordable and politically neutral. India does not control. India does not dictate terms. India simply delivers results. In space technology, trust is not built on promises. It is built on consistency. And ISRO has proven that repeatedly. Let me ask you something important. When Europe needed medicines urgently, who actually delivered when it mattered? Should healthcare depend on cost or capability? India supplied vaccines. India supplied essential drugs. India supplied raw pharmaceutical materials. Indian pharma focuses on volume, speed and affordability. Europe realized that healthcare security is not about luxury. It is about access. India became Europe's safety net. Quietly, reliably, consistently. Governments and defense systems run on Indian IT expertise. Indian engineers maintain servers, they protect networks, they manage cyber security. Indian IT does not seek attention, it seeks reliability. When systems fail, Indian teams fix them. When data is at risk, Indian experts protect it. This is why Europe continues to trust Indian digital talent without making noise about it. Because stability does not need publicity. This raises a controversial question. Should Europe rely only on NATO technology or diversify with Indian defense systems? Single ally or multiple partners? Europe is not loudly celebrating this shift. And there is a reason for that. Accepting Indian technological dependence means accepting a change in global hierarchy. Once India was ruled, once Indian systems were dismissed, today Indian technology is chosen. Not because of emotion, not because of history, but because it works. This reality is uncomfortable for old powers. So Europe does not announce it. It simply adopts it. By the next decade, Indian technology will be embedded deeply into European systems. Space missions, 
digital infrastructure, healthcare supply chains, defense support systems. This shift will not be dramatic. It will be permanent. And those who understand it early will understand where global power is moving. Europe officially talks about alliances, but unofficially it looks for independence. Relying entirely on one country for defense technology is risky, especially in a world filled with sanctions, conflicts and shifting alliances. This is where Indian defense technology becomes attractive. Indian systems are cost effective. They are designed for real battlefield conditions. They are practical, not experimental. European countries are not buying Indian defense systems loudly. They are testing them. They are co-developing them. They are integrating components quietly. India offers partnership, not pressure. And for Europe, that matters more than branding. One last question before you leave. Do you believe India is finally being chosen for capability, not sympathy? Is India's rise earned or accidental? I want your honest answer. Then think before you answer. Most people get this wrong. The world is changing quietly. Power no longer belongs to those who shout the loudest. It belongs to those who deliver consistently. If you want to understand these hidden global shifts, subscribe to this channel because the future is not announced. It is observed.